Air Hockey Bot was actually my first project uh, working for duration. Oh, man. Uh, and it came about as a, initially as a marketing demo for Freescale Semiconductor. Uh, so their marketing department wanted to show off uh, one of their new um, cold fire processors. Uh, and uh, they asked us if we can design this demo for them. Uh, and they asked a lot of other companies before they actually came to us and everybody said it's crazy. And the reason being they wanted it done in nine weeks. Uh, but being crazy, we've actually said, sure. <laughs> so we sort of started out with brainstorming around the office here and came up with a robot that plays air hockey against people. Having to do the project in nine weeks, we of course uh, had to resort to using uh, mostly or as much as possible off-the-shelf components. Uh, so the system uh, has, uh, utilizes an industrial robot arm uh, and uh, an industrial uh, vision system as well. The uh, challenge we ran into is actually being able to track the puck. Uh, it's not a simple problem, especially when we could not control uh, the lighting environment. We eventually got around that by using some uh, retroreflective tape on the puck surface uh, to reflect lighting uh, directly back into the lens. The vision system sees the puck is moving in a straight line and interprets where the robot needs to move in order to intercept it. So if I set the puck in motion on a course that looks like it's gonna go into the robot's net, like that one there, then it's gonna start getting concerned and come up with a, an intercept course. So this air hockey table we bought from number seven rated player in the, in the US or the world even. Uh, and so he, um, he introduced us to this, uh, this whole world of air hockey. And uh, then later on, we actually had uh, professional players come in uh, and try it out, you know, try playing, playing with the bot. We actually used a lot of the things we learned from their game to improve the system. Their business card, whatever might say, like what rank they are in a certain you know, region or whatever. Um, and they, they're very serious about it and they're, they're really, really good at it. The Air Hockey Bot that sort of took a life of its own after that exhibit. We actually sold three more to tech museums. Uh, one is uh, in, actually in Australia, in Canberra. Uh, and then another one we have deployed in uh, Pittsburgh uh, Tech Museum. And then the most recent one we have uh, in Virginia, Richmond Tech Museum. This has certainly been one of the most fun projects at Nuvation. Like, it's really cool that it's been going on for so many years, it really won't die. Like, every couple years we get more interest in another air hockey robot, and it's so cool.